<coughs> I went squishmallow hunting at Five Below some time back. Managed to secure some obnoxiously cute plushies. <laughs> In my last Five Below makeover, I gave Slappy the Sloth a Tutu Witch makeover, and a lot of you guys really seem to like that one. So I figured I'd do another take on a no-sew plushie makeover. So basically, no sewing will be involved. I like to avoid sewing at all costs, mostly because I don't know how, but also because I don't want to learn. So these are the squishmallows I got. One of them's a derpy looking duck. I saw its face and I just fell in love. He's my favorite of the two Squishmallows I picked out for today. The other Squishmallow I kinda hate. I hate it. Say hello to this sparkle butt abomination. Hello. Hello. Hey. She was buried at the bottom of the bin. Probably should have left her there. She's the I don't sweat, I sparkle gym bro. Bruh. Obviously it's a sparkle butt cat, so I needed to get it to challenge myself. How can I turn this sparkly gym bro into an evil masterpiece? Her name's Carol. I think it's a fitting name. She looks like a Carol. I know you're out there. The derpy duck's name isn't much better. His name's Avery. Bruh. The duck is very cute. I love his furry little flippers. Carol, on the other hand, I have no idea what's going on with her sparkly gym equipment. I'm starting off with the derpy duck. He's my first makeover candidate. It's Avery! My apologies. He's a chubby little egg. Very squishy. Almost too squishy. I'm cutting off the tag on the side. Just getting rid of that. But I am keeping the tag on the back. That way, you know, you can tell it's a real Squishmallow. See that? Original. These aren't off-brand Squishmallows. Times haven't gotten that bad. Yet. I want to keep the integrity of the plushies, so I won't be painting on them. I pretty much only paint on dollar store plushies. I'll just be making a little evil costume for them while avoiding sewing at all costs. I'm going to be turning this little derpy duck into a pirate, specifically Captain Quackers. Oh, the creativity. I pulled out some felt. This isn't regular felt, though. It's peel and stick felt. Just like it sounds, you just peel it and then it sticks. That's fancy. I'm making a vest for him. I tried eyeballing it, but eventually decided to pull out the measuring tape. He's very tiny, not too much surface area to work with, so the vest isn't gonna be very long. I really wanted a nice, clean, straight cut. Close enough. In an attempt to make it look more vest-like, I cut out some triangles out of the corners. Obviously, I'm not an expert seamstress yet. I'm just trying to make a costume that's not completely sure, falling apart. Sure. I forgot to cut out holes for his flappy wings to fit through. That's kinda important. I'm using a ruler, but I'm mostly just eyeballing it to be honest. Finally, time to put his vest on. It's fine, it's fine. The arms are a little chubbier than I accounted for, but I pushed them in regardless. The sticky felt works really well. It's great for adding little attachments to your plushies, and it stays on really well, too. Plus, it doesn't ruin the plushies, so that's always a plus. The vest is a bit tight. He may lose blood circulation in his wings, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make, because I have to. Why? So far, so good. Little guy looks like he could be attending a wedding or something. He'll start looking a bit more like a pirate in a second. I wanted it to look like the vest is tied in the front. I don't have a hole puncher or anything like that, so instead I stabbed in little tiny holes with a push pin. The string kept fraying at the end, so I hot glued the end together to try and keep it together. Hot glue isn't the most permanent of solutions. It was just kind of peeling off and everything was a mess. So scratch that whole thing. That's not gonna work. Next thing this pirate needs is an eye patch. He lost one of his eyes at sea. Happens all the time. His eye patch is gonna be made of premium leather. He lacks quality. I basically cut out a string to wrap around his head. The string is too short though, and his head is too fat, so I need to glue two of them together to make it long enough to fit around his thick head. I just knotted that together. I glued the eye patch to the string and positioned it right over the eye that I previously poked out. I feel like a stereotypical pirate usually wears a red bandana. I was gonna grab a red one, but at the last second I changed my mind and got a lime green one instead. I thought it would go nicely with the duck's fat green egg head. I think he's already looking a lot like a pirate in my opinion. My solution for the string fraying at the end was just to use E6000 on it. Once that dried, it worked a lot better. I had to create X's running down his vest. I think it's called cross stitch? I'm not sure. I honestly don't even know how to do this. It came out looking exactly like I wanted. I don't know how I did that but I did it. Gold star for me. 
Good for you. A lot of times, pirates carry around a weapon of choice, so Captain Quackers carries one on him too. In fact, he even has a little sheath for it. We're getting fancy now. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I gave him a tiny pocket on his vest. It's a black faux leather kind of material. I added a little skull and bones to go with the whole pirate aesthetic. Really trying to sell the look here. I'm working on making a weapon for him. It's a little stubby knife for a little stubby duck. A suitable choice. I had no real game plan, I just kinda cut shapes out and hot glued them together. Now that's a duck pirate if I've ever seen one. Captain Quackers. Full name, Captain Avery Quackers. Chips ahoy! <laughs> I don't know. Okay, moving on to Carol. Carol, that's her name? Yeah. Time for this sparkle butt to get a makeover. It took me a little while to come up with what to do for her. You see, the problem is she screams sparkle butt from head to to toe. <laughs> so I pretty much have to cover up everything. Also, she doesn't have arms sticking out like the duck. It's Avery! So it's harder to make clothes for her. She's just an egg. How do you dress up an egg? I took the same kind of sticky felt that I used for Captain Avery Quackers, cut it down to size, and basically just wrapped her in it. That's my attempt at hiding her sparkle butt past. It took me a couple tries to get the alignment just right. Then I wrapped her up in all black. Netting? I don't know what to call it. The black felt is just the bottom layer. I had to use it because this material that I'm layering on the top has a bunch of tiny holes. It's really see-through, so yeah. It honestly worked out perfectly since now I can just hot glue this material to the felt without messing up the plushie. The black dress she's wearing isn't actually a dress. It's meant to just be her top. I wrapped a string around her for a tutu. I'm not gonna go into too much detail for the tutu. I already pretty much talked about how to make it in my last Five Below makeover when I made the tutu tutu witch costume. In that video, I mentioned I would never make a tutu again. From this day forward, no new characters will ever wear a tutu. That was short-lived, since here I am making a tutu yet again. It's mildly agonizing, and it just takes some time. And it's very poofy, so that's annoying. Also, I don't make the best tutus. I've never been trained in the art of tutu making. It is what it is. I actually don't like this kind of mesh. I think it's more see-through. Carol is very scandalous. <laughs> The mesh I used on the sloth was much better in my opinion. I just couldn't find that same material in black, so I went with this. This is also fine. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, and another thing I probably should have taken into account is that she's very short. She doesn't need a very long tutu. She doesn't even have legs, so there's not much to cover up. Once I finished the tutu, I ended up going around trimming it down to better fit her tiny physique. I picked up some funky looking pipe cleaners in black. They're not normal pipe cleaners. They have this, like, cool... Whatever. I'm hot gluing them onto the back. They're gonna be her legs. Carol the sparkle butt is evolving into Carol the spider butt. I put a patch of sticky felt over that whole mess. One, to hide it, and two, to secure it. But mostly just to hide it. I'll be messing with the pipe cleaners a lot. I wanted to set them just right to get the effect I'm going for. I'll keep messing with them later, but first I needed to address her I don't sweat, I sparkle headband. No. That mm -hmm. needs to go. Honestly, I'm experiencing secondhand embarrassment for her. I wanted to give her a beanie with a black sock, but my socks won't fit on her big head. So instead, I'm wrapping a black piece of cloth around her head. I just tied it in the back. I guess it's kind of like a bandana now. I hot glued on some eyes for the spider. She's not a spider. She's just wearing a spider costume. I made her hold a teacup. I don't know, but I think there's like a nursery rhyme involving tea and spiders. Little, Little Miss Muffet sat, sat on a tuffet drinking, drinking tea. tea. I don't really remember which one. It's been a while. But that's what comes to mind. Hopefully there's a nursery rhyme like that and it's not just a random teacup or else this is just awkward. I love, love, love Captain Quackers and Carol the Spider Butt. I just love plushies wearing costumes. I don't know. There's just something so funny and adorable about them. In a creepy way, of course. Carol! Click on the next video to avoid tea time with Carol.